Alright, this is Astro Luna Soul, and we will be tutorialing on how to insert weapon icons using GBA GE. So first what you need to do is get to these offsets when you open whatever your your Fire Emblem 7 ROM since it's just for Fire Emblem 7 and I don't really feel like going through for Fire Emblem 8 and 6 and whatnot. So first for image control you go to offset C5 EA4 and for the palette you go to CB EA4. So what you have is there are all the weapon icons in the game. So what you want to do is first dump the image, which is save as bitmap. Amazingly enough, it's called a PNG. So then you go save it somewhere. So let's go save it. Yes, I want to replace that. So now don't close it. You're going to still need it. So this is our dumped image. Same thing as before. We're going to open it up in Usenti. And you see all these random colors over here? This is the entire palette box. Do not screw with that. So yeah, we have our all our icons. What I like personally is putting up the grid so we can see our tiles. And what next thing you do is okay, well, for your weapon icons, what you need to do is make sure they have the exact same palette as this one. For the dumped image, the actual weapon icon palette should be the first line in Usenti. You want to make sure that all your icons or any icons that you're going to be putting in this image are, are the exact same palette. So let's just take this sword I made for Dream of Five. So since they're in like 16 by 8 boxes, you copy paste them. If they have the same palette, they won't cause any screw ups in the game. So they have to be the same palettes. Okay, so let's save that. Now we have our iron sword in the game, technically. Well, not really. We still need to, well, put it inside the game. So now what we need to do is import a bitmap. We need to... Okay, this is the difficult part. We need to put import graphics. You need to keep the import graphics. You abort new graphics if new graphics are bigger than old. And you uncheck import palette. Now you press OK. Ah, path not legal form. What? Why is this crap having me? Oh, wait, I forgot to click the file. Gotta find our file. Just because I forgot to make a copy. Excuse me. I'm gonna make a copy of this because I actually need that. So, go back there. Right option, so you can press OK. You get all these colors, just leave them and say finished. And you should see it's, tiny, it's just fixed up here. Just press Control S. It's finished, saved. So then we can get out of here. So let's just go get that ROM that I had. Raws, copy, paste. Let's open up in Visual Boy Advance, whatever emulator you're using. Since it's an Iron Sword, then Lin starts one. We're just gonna start a new game. Yeah, whatever. Wait. Ups. Yes, I don't care. Let's fast forward. Let's get past through this all. And look, we have our new Iron Sword weapon icon. Yes, it is just that simple. As long as you have the same palette, it shouldn't be that hard. Now, I know what you're thinking. No, this is too easy. So, let's try importing another icon. So... Open GBA Graphics Editor again. Open the ROM. That. Windows Image. And Palette Control. Then we'll look at the image that we have here, which I'll link in the description in the description box below. So let's find, say, C5EA4. So that our image, we're just going to get the right palette. CBEA4. The right palette. 
So, we got the back to the exact same spot. Let's open this up and use Senti again. So, say you know how Lin starts with two vulneries, right? So, let's um, place the vulnery with an icon. I don't know, I'm gonna choose something. Find that vulnery icon first. Take out the grid. Um, vulnery icon, vulnery icon, vulnery icon. Who are you? There it is. So, right here. So, let's go to my icon sheet. I don't know, we're gonna take... Hmm... Let's take the icon I made for Serenus Forest Icon Spriting Contest, which I have to make a A rank sword. I don't know. Let's just put that there. So, let's just pay, press opaque. Get the other half. Paste. Save. See, I didn't do anything else. It's the same exact palette. Close. So let's import a bitmap. Uncheck abort if new graphics are bigger than old. Uncheck import palette. And then click on the image we want to import. You need all these colors. If you have only 16 colors or only there's some colors missing, you did something wrong. It's not real. It's you did something wrong with saving. I don't know. So finished. Save. Okay, it's finished. Let's go and check it out. See if it works. Okay, so then we restart chapter. Hey, look! Vulnerabilities are now swords, and we have our icon imported. And yes, it's just that simple. I really don't understand why sometimes people screw up with this. Now, I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial on how to import weapon icons. You can import like these icons, the affinity icons if you wanted to as well. You just need to find the right palette. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on how to import weapon icons to Fire Emblem 7 with GBA GE. Astro Luna Soul signing off.